Shall we go to Steve? We sure shall. All right. Hey, Steve. Steve says, I have a computer on which I have a dual boot setup, XP and oh. Ubuntu 8.10. I would like to reinstall XP for several reasons. However, I'm not sure how to do this, as I always <laughs> install XP first, then Ubuntu. Could you give some guidance on this? Right. So you want to get that Windows XP back to fresh, mm. get it all cleared out. The, um, the issue you're going to run into there, as you know, is that when you install XP, um, it's going to reinstall its bootloader. So you, you might lose access to booting Ubuntu. So there's two things, and, and my disclaimer off the top is, of course, you're doing something that's a little advanced here, and, and you need to know that you could lose access to that partition anyways. But don't fear, it's, it's easy enough to recover from. Just don't overwrite the partition, because then you're going to lose the data. Um, <clears throat> if you install that uh, Windows XP over top of the partition that XP is on, and you'll know that during the installation procedure, you'll see the NTFS uh, drive, as opposed to the Linux drive, which it won't detect as a, as a formatted drive. It'll think that it's just a, a blank partition. Um, if you install it over the NTFS, then it's going to reinstall its own bootloader. But before you do that, get the software uh, called Super Grub Disk. I'll get you the link for that. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a boot CD that will allow you to recreate Grub as your bootloader very, very easily. It's supergrubdisk.org. Grub being the, uh, the bootloader, the menu system that you see when you turn on your Linux computer. Mm. So that's going to recreate that menu system based on Grub now, and Grub is going to detect, that's going to detect your, both your Windows and your Linux partitions. Mm. But be ready to, you know, if you run into any problems, just uh, be ready to, to kind of tinker a little bit, but that should get you through. Any other comments about that one in the chat room, everybody? That sounds like a, uh, that would probably be the w where I would start for sure. Mm. But get that software before you reformat, before you reinstall, and just don't let Windows touch your Linux partitions, period, because mm -hmm. it's just going to erase it. If you, if you tell Windows to open it, it will just say, not formatted. You want to format it, and you've got to be careful of that kind of stuff. Mm. Okay? Alrighty. Uh, so let's... Oh, good guy mentioning that he uses terabytes boot it NG. That's a different thing altogether, talking about uh, third-party uh, bootloaders. So that's another, another thing. Uh, mm. Acronis does uh, disk director is another thing to look at. And that is a super easy. It's a commercial product, but that would make it super easy for you. But I still think that uh, that you're going to have just perfect luck with the free Super Grub disk. Hmm. So, but yeah, bootloaders in general, you just want to be able to reinstall the bootloader because then you're going to get access to uh, to the other ones. Uh, GAG is freeware, if I recall correctly. Uh, good guy says GAG being the graphical boot manager. Haven't tried that one. Hmm. That's a good tip. Oh, well, that's different. Mm -hmm. That looks, uh, it looks very uh, Windows 3.1-ish. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It, the screenshot was even done back in the FreeBSD <laughs> and Windows 98. I'm not sure what version of FreeBSD that is, looks like. But it, it, hey, if it works, then yeah. that's awesome. Neat. But yeah, supergrubdisk.org is the way I would go. Mm 